Hello, my friends. You ready to see some crazy breadcrumbs? Panko is in the house. Have you heard of Panko? Well, I'll show you in just a second. Okay, my friends, here we go. We are doing something for baking today. It's called Panko. A huge box I got at Costco. $7.89. Look at that. You can, like, fry anything you want with this box. Well, within reason. This box is 1.36 kilos, and we are making today a little treat for you, fried rice balls. Oh, and we just lost Fuzzy. <laughs> she must have heard something outside. Just show you this box. If you're thinking about a good, a great deal, this is a great deal, because they have those small, small things you get at the uh, grocery store in the bakery department where the bread is and they're usually about a dollar fifty to two dollars two fifty something like that yeah. camera lady just said they're more yeah sometimes even three dollars but that's just bread you could make your own but this costco you know what it is go big or go home right that's what we love about costco the big bags so they have three resealable bags in here okay so keep everything fresh, just so you see that. So now you know it's in the bag. Isn't that cool? Refillable bags. Now, what is panko? Panko, and this is on Wikipedia. It is a variety of flaky breadcrumb used in Japanese cuisine as crunchy coating for fried foods. And they say such as tonkatsu. Tonkatsu? Panko is made from bread baked by electrical current, which yields a bread without a crust, and then grinding the bread to create fine silvers of crumb. It has a crispier, airier texture than most types of breading found in Western cuisine and resists absorbing oil or grease when fried, resulting in lighter coating. There you have it. If you ever had like a sushi restaurant, you had, uh, what is it, seafood tempura? That's that crispy coating on that. Now it says the Japanese first learned to make bread from the Europeans and panko is derived from pan. From the Portuguese and ko, a Japanese suffix indicating flour, crumb, or powder. Okay, there you have it. So well, now you kind of get a little insight of what this is. Uh, there's nutritional facts on here as well. For a half a cup, there's 110 calories. And there's pretty much no sodium. It only says 1% per serving. And there's this actually sugar in here. I don't know why, but there's sugar. The ingredient says wheat flour, sugar, yeast, and salt. There you have it. Product of the USA. I'll just show you a little bit in here. Okay, we have one opened already. We got some food on the stove. Our camera lady's cooking up some rice balls as we speak. They're done. Oh, rice balls are done. Okay, so let me... Just put some of this in here so you can see what this texture is like. Very light. Very, very light. Looks like crushed Special K or Rice Krispies. That's what it kind of looks like, panko. So there's the, uh, the panko, okay. There's no real smell to it at all, but I want to try a little bit of panko to see a difference here <laughs> if I can or not, right? <laughs> Tastes like bland bread. That's all it tastes like. It's kind of crunchy. Fuzzy! 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 You want to try some? <laughs> no, I don't think she wants to try some. <laughs> so now camera lady says the rice balls are done. Yeah. Let's head over back to the stove and you see the finishing touch to the panko with rice balls. Deep fried rice balls? Not deep fried. No, Just definitely not deep fried. fried rice balls. Mm. Pan fried. Pan fried rice balls. Okay, people, there they have it. They're all done. I can't wait to try one of these suckers, but they're still hot. Let's cool it off quickly and try one. There, thank you. There's the rice cakes. Rice cakes. Is that rice cakes? Yeah. <laughs> I keep always forgetting. Panko rice cakes. We are ready, people, for panko. Yes. We have a nice little cheat. <laughs> we have a nice little treat in the Cheeks Cafe here. And look at that. There we have our pan-fried panko rice ball. Freshly made, still a bit warm. Let me try it out. Might be hot. Mmm. It does make it crispy and crunchy. There's that little crunch to it. Crunchy on the outside and moist inside. Mmm. So again, everybody, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. If there's anything special you make panko with that you want to share with everybody, let us have it. We're all here to have fun and explore crazy products, right? Big fun product reviews. Thanks, everybody. Live life loud. Cheers and 
Cheeks out. Any more cheeks? Later. Tell me like a hell cut.